Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to look at a solution for neck wrinkles and turkey neck. It's about seven o'clock on a Saturday morning and I'm shooting a video that I'm really excited about. It's about this little product and to me this could be a revolutionary product. I am not sure yet. I have used it for about three days and it takes 30 days or 60 days to see results, up to eight weeks to see results. But this little product is designed to help with the dreaded turkey neck and I am getting that for sure. I'll be 61 in April and I've got this little waddle thing going and it is something that I've always been concerned about and I have been using the Gold Bond Neck Cream and it's a firming cream and I personally think that it does me a lot of good but I'm so excited to see how this one works out and I'm very excited to share it with you. I ordered this product from Octoli because I was very excited about something that could possibly help me and I knew that you all would be interested in this too. Let me go ahead and show you this. This is the Needles No More Neck Sculpting Cream and I will pull it out and the neat thing is it's got something rather unusual which is this little rose quartz stone. Here is the neck firming cream and we've all seen these types of creams before but I'll tell you a little bit more about this in just a moment. But this is an oriental system of care known as Gua Sha. Gua Sha. Yes, that's it. Gua Sha. And you basically use this little stone and they have them in jade or in rose quartz. This company is using rose quartz and I particularly like rose quartz because rose quartz as an energy stone, which I do believe that stones have energy, rose quartz brings peace and beauty and serenity. And so I think that's rather appropriate. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in the before and after results of this little program, then I hope you'll click that bell because that will send you an email notification whenever I do videos. And I'll be showing you this in just a minute, but let me show you some information from the website. Here's a picture from their website of a woman who had used it for the eight weeks. And as you can see, her turkey waddle is really greatly reduced. And the next picture is from an actual buyer of the product. And here's her before and after picture. And as you can see, it's quite a bit improved. The skin on my neck feels tighter and so much smoother and the loose turkey gobbler is getting smaller and smaller by the week. Can't wait to see what my neck looks like at eight weeks. Also, I don't recommend applying a thick layer as it can flake a bit. A nice thin layer is all I used. And that is exactly the same thing for me. I use a thin layer of this cream because it works and because this cream is $95, it's not cheap. Actually, the whole system is $95. But to me, if this works as well as I hope it will, it will be worth the $95. Let me go ahead and tell you some information about the cream before I get into a demo of how it works. And I have my little cheat sheet here. It says the ingredients are the Slim Sculpt Complex, which is not scientific, of course. It's kind of marketing. But they say it fights the effects of excess fullness and volume and gives a sculpted look to your neck, which of course would be good. And pea extract, which helps improve the appearance of elasticity, moisturizes and reinforces the skin. And then they have Hydrofirm Complex, which is an advanced moisturizer. And it is very moisturizing. I did notice that about it for sure. And the product has no sulfates and no parabens, and it's also gluten-free, which is a good thing. And they did have a clinical study of 33 volunteers. And after one use, they said there was a 104% increase in hydration of the skin, which means it was more moisturized, which is nice. And after four weeks of use, 100% showed an improvement in skin elasticity. And after eight weeks, 82% of the 33 volunteers said that their skin looked more toned and firmer. And this is actually based on a Chinese system of facial massage called Gua Sa. And it combines a wonderful little moisturizing cream or oil with a wonderful little stone here. And I'll show you how this works. You basically take this cream and it is a very hydrating cream. I love this cream. I've been using it for three days now. And I just put a thin layer on the skin there. And then you're just going to take your little stone and go like this. And you massage upward between five and 10 times. And then you also kind of give it a little shimmy at the top, just to kind of shake up those lymph nodes, I guess. I was looking on YouTube at some of the other Gua Sa practitioners and they always do a little shimmy up here. And you do five to 10 like that. It feels really, really good. Then you do the other side, take a little more of the cream on the other side. And you just go like this, start down there, up, wiggle, wiggle, up, wiggle, wiggle, up, wiggle, wiggle, up. You actually go up under the jawline you're just smoothing it clear up and rather than emphasizing the edge of it so much, which I think I was doing, 
you're supposed to sort of get a little more of the flat stone against your neck. That's enough. And as you can see, the blood is really circulating there. It's coming to the forefront. Then you just do a little bit on the center here. Then you're going to take this serrated edge and go up the turkey neck area, clear up to the chin, and you just do it with kind of a medium firmness, not too hard, but it really is increasing the blood flow. Hopefully it's waking that skin up, making the skin cells act a little more resilient, a little more young. At least that would be nice. And time will tell. I will show you the after results. And that's a good reason to subscribe to get the after part, not just the before. And if you'd like more information about this system, it is below the video. Okay, that is the treatment. And my neck is still kind of red, but that will go away in about five minutes. And I've done this for the past three days, morning and evening, and I really like it. In the evening, I like it because it seems relaxing. I look forward to doing it. It's, it's a wonderful last step to my skincare routine. And then in the morning, after I've cleansed my skin and put moisturizer on my face, I do the little neck program, and it just kind of wakes up my skin, and I look forward to it in the morning, too. So again, come back in 30 days, and I'll show you the before and after results. And I am very excited about this, and I will be adding this to my skincare routine, assuming that it does work. And while I'm telling you about new skincare products I'm using, I also ordered this from Octoli. And as those of you who have watched my channel know, I absolutely love Real Techniques brushes. In fact, I have two of these in front of me because I just bought them with my own money. But I did want to check this out for you all. This is their new skincare system. It's called the Prep and Prime Set. And I've been using this for the last few days. This little brush here is wonderful for moisturizers or primers, or if you use a facial mask, which I do once a week, it's absolutely wonderful to put that facial mask on your skin. And I like the idea of using a brush like this with your mask because when you continually put your hands in there and they last for months, sometimes a year, you can get a lot of bacteria in there. So this is a nice clean way to apply your facial masks. And this little brush I actually used this morning. This is the facial exfoliator. And I used it because I'm still going through retin-A peelings, ladies. I Oh, it's driving me crazy. But I basically just put this on the skin wherever I had the peelings, which tend to be in the beard area. And so this largely got rid of the peelies. Then I actually used this little lip scrub brush, and this is a great thing for lip scrubs or exfoliation of your lips. And I didn't so much use it on my lips, but I had a few more little peelies, and this absolutely got off the last of those little Retin-A peelies. Really like that one. And this last little beauty tool is something I had never seen before, but I'm really liking it. This is the under eye ball, and it is not a roller ball. It's totally stationary, so you won't have lotion that gets caught underneath the roller ball. But, but how you use this is when you apply your cream under eye, if you use an under eye cream or moisturizer, you just run this along the under part of your eye, little massage there, and it feels absolutely heavenly. And this product got like 4.7, 4.8 stars somewhere in there. And people raved about this particular tool, particularly they said they would put this in the refrigerator or the freezer, keep it there. And then when they would apply their moisturizer or under eye cream, they just got a nice little cool blast under their eye. And they were saying that it tended to decrease those under eye bags. So my overall thoughts on this are, I actually love the Real Techniques makeup brushes first and foremost, but if you're really into skincare and would like to try something kind of new and interesting, I think this is a wonderful thing. Well, that was a look at some kind of interesting new skincare items. And again, check back with me in a month and we'll see how my neck is looking. Hopefully this little turkey neck is maybe a thing of the past or becomes more of a mini turkey neck. Um, now it is Saturday morning here at about eight o'clock. I've actually been up since four. I had to shoot this video earlier because it didn't work out. So anyway, that's the way that goes. Well, at this but point in the video, I always do a thought for the day and I usually use these cards. And I did that in the earlier video, but it was so hard to find a card because right now I'm thinking that my thought for the day is really on the importance of prayer and on leaning on God. And so I'll just tell you a little story about my no good, terrible, rotten day yesterday, because I think it really does illustrate how those of us who have this particular belief really can rely on God and give things to God, because sometimes we're not capable of handling them very well ourselves. Yesterday, I got up and went to work, and very quickly after I arrived at work, I got a text from another friend who said that a mutual friend of ours, who's one of my dearest friends, her name is Jen, she got in a car accident on her way to work, 
and she's going to be fine, but she's going through a back surgery and it's just, oh, it just killed me. And I thought about it all day long. Laura and I tend to pray every morning at the start of work. We don't do it with the other employees because, you know, we don't want to push that on them, but we'll go in her office and close the door. And we had a wonderfully long prayer for Jen. And I thought about her all day long. It was just like a horrible day thinking about what she was going through. And it was nothing I had a lot of control over and only God has control over that. So that was, you know, important to turn it over to God. And then amazingly, I bumped into a couple friend of ours at Walgreens, I was buying makeup. They, they said, hey, let's meet for dinner at this Chinese restaurant we go to. And so we met at the restaurant and during the dinner, I found out that she has just been diagnosed with breast cancer. Her name is Gayla. And I just know that she's in great hands and that God will heal her. I have every faith that God will heal her. But going through a day like that, I was just reminded of how sometimes in life, I always say God doesn't give bad gifts. But I have to say, when confronted with those two situations yesterday, I thought, they can't be good. You know, it's not good. So I've just got to give it to God, got to pray for both of them to do well and to come through it. And anyway, I'm rambling a little bit, but as you're going through your day today, if you're a Christian and of that persuasion, then I hope you'll just remember like I did yesterday that sometimes things are out of our control. And I truly believe that when I turn things over to God on a regular basis, my life is better, my second half is better, and hopefully my eternity will be better too. Take care and I'll see you next time.